Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays, and today I'm going to give you a tour of my five-star island, Haken. So those of you who've been following me for a while know that I do the podcast Haken, an Animal Crossing podcast, but I have been tucked away playing this game for the last six months or so, and yeah, I guess I finally hit five stars recently, and I wanted to just show you all what I had going on. So I'm going to actually start here at Dodo Airlines at the entrance and take you through my island of course it is five stars but i've got to say like hitting five stars it doesn't feel like i'm quite done yet and you're gonna see a lot of ways that that's the case because just because you're five stars doesn't mean there isn't more to do on your island and there is definitely a lot more that i want to do so i'm hoping that my island kind of gives you a more realistic look of what progress is in this game but i've got over 600 hours i re-terraformed everything and this is kind of what i came up with so i'll just go ahead and start taking you through so here we've got this big entrance it's not too crazy and honestly this is the bulk of it because you're going to see very quickly that there isn't much to it beyond this little patch of trees here so if we go to the right over here got a little bench and that's nice but here's just kind of like a flower field some extra lily of the valleys that a friend dropped off before i was five stars but right here we already see this path end and the weeds begin here <laughs> so yeah i've got this random fence and everything um i don't quite i'm gonna take it down but the museum used to be here and i was literally just putting things out so i could hit five stars uh down on the beach i have able sisters and they are not going to be here permanently, but they've been here for a while. I'm still trying to figure out where my shops go. And I guess while I've got this on my mind, I'll show you all my map really quickly. So as you can see, I've got a couple characters here. I've got me, of course, and Wirt. And Wirt is actually a character from Over the Garden Wall. So I'm going to be making a bunch of different characters and their houses. And they're all going to be based kind of off of that cartoon. But as far as my villagers go, I've got Pearl, who's one of my favorites, and Grizzly, who's also one of my favorites. And then I've got Eunice, Benedict, and then I've got Bella, tabby these two are in here for halloween i'm getting prepared and i feel like they're really great halloween characters over here i've got henry deirdre and kevin so you'll see kind of like all of these houses uh pretty much in the same area except for grizzly i've got off to the side here he's my cranky villager so i kind of consider him the recluse of the of the group but benedict is also kind of off on his own thing but he you'll see why his place makes sense but anyways there's not too much on this side of my island to be honest with you i've got a couple of these kind of lifeguard chairs and stuff but yeah there's not too much that i've done here i think i put a random crafting table and <laughs> for some reason a ray right there to be alongside that but anyways right here we've got my resident services it's pretty smack dab in the middle of this right section but it's pretty good i like where it is i just have to kind of work around it and have been building these little cliffs and stuff uh, i've got my fancy little waterfall here <laughs> um but yeah i have if you go to the right here you're not gonna see really too much at all it's all gonna be a bunch of flowers and weeds i've been meaning to re-terraform this little area right here where the lighthouse is uh, just because if you'll notice the corner, I couldn't terraform anything there, nor like fix it in any way. So um, that's just how it is for now. Um, but yeah, I, I I set this up really at the beginning of the game. So it's it's something that I've been wanting to update. The only update I've really made is I found some seaweed and I decided to put it on the rocks here alongside everything. But yeah, the right side, not too much going on. So let's go ahead and go to the other portions. And the other portions, there is a couple more where I don't really have a lot to show off. Um, so I'm kind of go through that real quick and then I'll show you kind of the better things. Um, so to the left over here from the main entrance, we do have Benedict's house who, this has actually been set up for a long time on my island. I've always really liked this little beach area. I just made it Benedict's little lazy cabin and he fits this place perfectly. So yeah, I've got all the shells and stuff. Usually I don't pick them up around his beach. I like to see them kind of pile up <laughs> and every once in a while I'll get them. but. 
yeah, he's got a nice cute little place where he hangs out here. He's home now, but we're not going to visit him right now. Um, over here, across the bridge, you'll see my path kind of... Yeah, I guess it thins out here. Oh, wait. I wasn't expecting this. So you have to wait till they go back down. Oh, I can't believe we're seeing a scorpion. It's been a long time since I've seen one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you just like stop in your tracks, they'll stop kind of threatening you <laughs> and do that. Anyways, pretty cool. Good catch. Um, so here we have <laughs> Nook's Cranny. It's really just because this is where I could fit it. All of the crazy bugs are out tonight. What is going on? All right. <laughs> there we go. Anyways, my dock is here. Nook's Cranny is here. This little um, DIY bench used to be right here, but I found with Nook's Cranny here, I couldn't walk through and that was really bugging me. So I've moved it for the time being. But yeah, like I said, I need to find an official home for Nook's Cranny, though it kind of works on the beach. It does have a nice little beachy feel with its exterior, but during autumn, like it needs to be in the little foresty area. So I'm going to be prepping that. I have some leftover flowers here. Oh my goodness, Celeste, <laughs> what, a, what a day. What did we get this time? A space shuttle, fun. Thank you, Celeste, you're very kind and sweet. Um, but yeah, once again, with this left side, not too much going on. This is Laken, that, or Haken Lake. Uh, Sergio has called it Laken. Um, not too much going on on this side. What I do have is some plans for it right here. I'm gonna add another character. She's gonna be called Miss Langtree and she's gonna run a little school for all of my animals to learn to count and spell. And I'm probably gonna put a little music, it's gonna be a music school. So I wanna put a little stage somewhere in this area too. So that should be pretty cool. There's not too much up the beach. Uh, you're gonna see just a bunch of cliffs, some extra flowers and stuff. And oh, what do you know? We're here in New York. We've got the Statue of Liberty. And of course they're famous for pizza. So I've got their little brick oven making some pizza here. <laughs> I'm gonna actually take you back down through the front cause I want you to experience kind of what I'm going for as we walk up here as you'll We'll give you a little sneak peek of the museum here. <laughs> um, but if you notice on the map, I've got a path that leads all the way up through the center of my island. So this just goes all the way through and it will actually take you to the secret beach where Red hides. And so I've got a little bit of a marketplace that I'm working on here. Still quite a, quite a bit of work that I want to put into it, but... Um, as you can see, Red's not visiting, but when he does, it looks really great. I'm pretty excited about it. Also, somebody finally taught me how to use these things. You got a hold of them, and then they'll make the little sound and the dance happen. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, we'll go right back down the middle. So yeah, I wanted to show you. I actually took this idea from a friend, Ariba Derchi, who I toured her island, but I, uh, I had so much trouble editing it. I've never put it up, and... Maybe I should just make it go live at this point, <laughs> bad at it or not. Um, so over here, I've got a sign that shows you the museum, um, takes you up here to this area, which is pretty fun. Um, this actually grew naturally. I was very excited about it. But one of the big things here is that you can climb up. You have to use your ladder when you're here, so I try to put one out for people to get, but as you can see, we've got a pretty good view. It's not <laughs> the best right now because I do have somebody moving in, so the plot, one of the plots is sold and still needs to be filled, but I like to go into my camera mode around this spot and just take a look at the scenery. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I really like my little village area that I built up. Um, also, kind of an idea I stole from Ariba Derchi as well. I, I really do need to put her island tour up because it's amazing. But yeah, this is my little residential area as you can see. Oops, I'm gonna need that ladder right now. As you can see, they're all kind of like stacked up in the same spot together. So we'll actually take you, give you a little run through on this place. So. Like I said, to the right, we've got the resident services. We don't have to go that way since we've already kind of seen it. Pearl, my best friend, lives right here. Uh, Grizzly's my other best friend. But here's Henry's place. I gave him a little pond since he's a little frog. I'm probably going to have him move pretty soon. 
Um, we'll climb all the way up here just so you can see. So this is Kevin, Kevin Bacon, and this is Deirdre. We just saw her on the stairwell going up. And yeah, right here is where my second character, Wirt, lives. There's nothing in his house quite yet. I've still got to decorate it, so not really worth showing you. But that's where I have him. I thought he'd be pretty nice in a little neighborhood, so a little charming place for him to live. Over around this corner, we've got Eunice's place. Uh, it's been growing some more, uh, what's the word, tulips here. And then this is where Bella lives. I think her house is really cute. And this is actually the house that made me realize that I was five stars because I walked out and I noticed the lily of the valley right there. And then, of course, if we keep walking, we'll cross this bridge over to Grizzly's house. He's a little bit of a cranky fella, so I put him over on his own. I don't really know what else I'm going to do with this area quite yet. Maybe I'll give him a little pond so he can fish and everything, but that should be fun. So let's actually go right here behind, er, <laughs> behind the residential area. I was going to say resident services. It's not too much going on, just a river that goes into a little tiny lake here. But we can go up to this third tier. I'm going to, right now I've got, you know, just this little lake here. But I'm going to build another character named um, Adelaide. And she's going to be a little witch character. And I'm going to have a cemetery right here. <laughs> it looks like Grizzly is always, he's having fun looking at the bugs, at the flowers. He loves the natural landscape here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to put a cemetery right behind his house with Adelaide the Witch in probably this area. So yeah, lots of stuff that I've got planned out still, so lots in the works. Let's go back down this direction. And I guess we already showed you this spot, um, so we don't really have to go through it. You can just get a little view here. I put these, a lot of fencing is up really just randomly <laughs> so I could get this town to or this island rather to five stars um, but over here we've got a nice little campsite as you can see not much going on quite yet except I've been loving the new autumn items this is I'm gonna be really filling up my island with these but just seeing these roasting marshmallows here is so wonderful I've actually got um, who's visiting I think Tiffany right now. Tiffany is going to be another one of my Halloween characters. Uh, but yeah, I've really got to decorate this campsite. Usually I have it decorated, but I recently moved it. It used to be on the bottom left corner of my island, and I moved it to the opposite corner. So I've just got to get the stuff out of my closet and get it back together. Um, and then I guess the last thing that I've really got to show you is kind of behind resident services and my house. So here's that top of that waterfall that you can see. There's a bit of an orchard here. I'm not going to keep it this way. It's just kind of here temporarily. I really wanted to just see the batch of trees and see how the colors changed. They're, they've actually been changing a lot, so it's been fun to see them all different colors as as the season starts to change but right here we've got my house which i don't really change the exterior too much i think it's pretty cute as it is but i do think of changing it but every time i kind of mess with the settings i don't see too much but i'm pretty proud of the inside of my house i've done quite a bit of decorating and i've been in the process of redecorating everything so Here's my living room. Um, I just finished this up this past weekend, and I've been really enjoying this space quite a bit. So um, yeah, it's just a little place where you can hang out, have some fun. You can get a book, rock in this little chair here. Um, we've always got to have some firewood ready for the fireplace, make sure things are nice and warm. Um, but yeah, a nice little cozy library room that I've built out here. And I've been really enjoying this space. It's Every time I walk in, I'm just like, yeah, this is a really, really nice place to live. Of course, we've got our piano. Always got to play some songs and our guitar. I'm a big fan <laughs> of the instruments always. You'll see a little bit more. So this right room is the one I worked on just before my living room. And I'm very happy with how it turned out as well. As you can see, I've got a, a thing for big bookshelves and just feeling pretty warm and cozy. So yeah, this is what we've got here. 
Um, for a little bit, I had this cabinet over on this side, but I realized like once you turn the camera to this side, you can't really see anything. So it was blocking the view too much to keep it there. I have some of my villagers photos here. Um, there was one in the other, the living room as well, but I've been slowly, slowly, slowly trying to collect all of these, but yeah, there's so much you can do. This Mona Lisa is fake. <laughs> I have a lot of fake art. Uh, when you make extra characters, one of the benefits is that you can buy multiple pieces of art. So it's really nice to have some extra artwork that you can just hang on the walls and use. Anyways, that's this little room. Um, I'm really proud of these two. The other ones I still have to rework quite a bit, so I'm going to be messing with them. Um, here's another little fake piece of- actually, this one might be real. I don't know, but I already have it donated, so it doesn't matter. Um, right here is my picture of Pearl, one of my best friends. And then this room, this is going to be the next one that I really work on, just because this is a very summery, beachy room. We did it for our Haken home designer contest, and <laughs> yeah, I I'm a, as you can tell, I'm a really big fan of these like retro stereos. I really love how they look and how they sound. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take everything down in here. I'm thinking of making it either like a little workshop or a... Um, what's the word? A kind of a log cabiny room. I'll see what I settle on later, but yeah, these beachy vibes are gonna be going away very soon. So here is one look at it. Also, I need to get more of these light switches. Gotta order a lot of those. <laughs> I really love having all of the little like light switches and radiators that really make the place feel alive. You'll you'll notice I put some radiators in this room. This radiator has actually been here since like probably day two or three of the game. It was one of my earliest items. So this left room over here is a kitchen at the moment. I'm not sure what I want to turn it into. I might keep it as a kitchen, but I'm probably going to go a lot darker with it, kind of do some more, uh, kind of just make it match the rest of the house that I'm going for. So kind of like dark, warm, cozy vibes here, like cold weather has come and we all just have to like hide away in our dark little houses. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, a lot's gonna change in this one. It's kind of just like a mishmash of things. As you can see, like over here, I just used these little log benches as <laughs> essentially countertops because I hadn't gotten a lot of the ironwood set yet, so I couldn't really decorate with it. But yeah, I'm excited to mess with this one after I make a little workshop or cabin, but we'll see. And maybe this will just turn into a cabin. I don't know. I'm still deciding if I want a kitchen or not. But I've seen some pretty cute ones, so it's hard not to not to keep that. So, all right. These next two rooms, I don't really know how much I'm going to change them. I'll start with my basement. So, I don't know. We've done the show live a couple times on YouTube. And when we record, we tend to go into this little studio space. We'll turn on the cameras, the lights. I also have some lights up here that I like to get on, but I like to make it look pretty professional. We've got our live band that plays over to the left. We've got our visitors sofa so people can, you know, of course, talk to the host. Uh, <laughs> this is the best I could do for a professional host chair. I should probably start looking into something else, <laughs> but this big clock, I actually thought I, I sold it or something, but I realized I had it in this room the whole time, but yeah, lots of really cute things in here. I think it works as a little live studio. Um, of course, we're up in the sky, even though this is my basement room. <laughs> um, but yeah, it works. It's like a little talk show area, which is, it's been pretty fun to mess with this one. All right, so the last room is, up, of course, the upstairs. Um, this one, I'm going to rework it a bit, but I am going to keep it the theme that it is right now. And the theme is band room. So band room, here's where we go to jam. This is, of course, I'm a big KK Slider fan. Got some of his albums up on the walls here. The bulletin board so you know what shows are coming up. Uh, <laughs> we got a pet cat. I always, I don't know. This is just tradition for me to put like a little cat tower in the band room. I don't know why. I had one in my New Leaf band room as well. But 
yeah, uh, got a, a bunch of really fun instruments and things here. I play music, I play guitar, used to play in lots of bands, so I always like trying to capture that once again in my rooms here. So anyways, that's basically my house and island. Um, five stars right now. I get a pretty high score on my house every time. I think last time I got about 179,000 points for it, so yeah, pretty high score for the decor decorations in there but yeah anyways thank you all so much for joining me on this tour um i know i have a lot of work to do on my island to make it really interesting there's still so much that i want to do so much that i want to decorate with i'm really happy with the new um diy recipes that are coming out right now during the autumn because you know as you can tell i'm pretty rustic and i love cold weather so it's pretty fun to be messing with all of that. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much as I used to, but this is my attempt to make a comeback and start, you know, just getting at this whole YouTube thing again. So thank you once again. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye.